This episode of Brown Sugar Bay was brought to you by Beautiful Breeze Artistry. My girl Sabrina does the best. When I say the best, I mean the best weave installations. She made my wig that I have on right now. She sewed it down. She does great um, makeup for either date nights for events. I also booked her. I I don't I don't recommend anyone that I wouldn't use myself. So that's one. But she has done weddings. She does photo shoots. She does your hair for any type of event. Makeup for any type of event. Man or woman, which I love. Um, she's very professional. She's on time. She does very great work. So you guys go ahead and hit her up. Beautiful Breeze Artistry underscore. That's her Instagram. And you guys enjoy the show. Let me tell you about this girl. Maybe I should. I met her in Philly. And the name was Brown Sugar. See, we be making love. Hello there. Hey, y'all. What's Hello. going on, babe? How y'all doing? Good morning, good evening, good, good night, good, good, good afternoon. Night. Whenever you're listening, thank you for tuning back into Brown Sugar Bay Podcast. Brown Sugar Bay. Brown Sugar Bay. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you feeling? How you feeling tomorrow? What's going on with you, Gloria? Well, it's coming up on a week that I've been at my new job, and I love it. How's it going, boo? It's, uh... I like it. Like they had every, they decorated my desk really nicely. Aww. And like they welcomed me. It was real cool. And I'm working. I'm I'm killing it right now. Right. So I'm good. You I better be the chilling. black woman that go into the office and take shit over. Come on now. What? No, no, no. Real talk. Like I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm ready. How you feeling, Lou? I am feeling, um, I don't know. Uh-oh. I don't know how I'm feeling. I I don't know how I'm feeling. I get, then this is the second week I've been like I was like I'm okay. So y'all y'all already know. I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling. Um, I'm good though. I'm content. Okay. I'm content and I'm um I'm content and I'm hopeful. Let's say that mm. I'm content and I'm hopeful. I like that. But I'm doing good though. I mean, as far as like my well being, like I'm very fine. It's just a lot of like, You know, you know how you go through like, um, just like personal like um growth. It's it's really I feel like growing is like the hardest thing. Ever, especially mm-hmm. when you're an adult. Amen. So when you come over like blocks that um, are hard to come over, you know, and hard to accept, then um, yeah, you have like you know, it's hard. So yeah, it's growth. I don't want to get into yeah. it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's just growth, growth and mm-hmm. growing pains. So I was say about pain. to say that it's growing, growing pains. pains. Okay. So that's where I'm at. But it's a blessing because you know once you get over it, over that side, it's like this. whatever. Yeah. What's up with you, Chloe? Um, I'm feeling proud. Uh, you should. Cause you first have, of all, let me tell you, <laughs> Chloe is in here. She looked like she hopped straight off of the air, girl, into her car, girl, and drove over girl, here, girl, looking like a meal. What? Not even a snack. I don't know what <laughs> light God has put on me, but for the past two weeks, the compliments have been great. <laughs> it ain't been fantastic. Good. Credit when credit is due. Okay? Thanks, babe. Check. But no, I'm just feeling proud. Um, we're recording the show on International Women's Day. Yes. Yeah. Hello, Happy International Women's Day. Well, it ain't gonna be International Women's Day when y'all hear. Yeah, but But it is. is. Right. So we're. I'm just throwing it out there. We're recording on International Women's Day, so I'm already feeling proud and powerful. And um, you know, life is just going good. I told you guys about my promotion uh last week. So things are going great. I'm picking things up and I'm just being the bomb black woman that God created okay. me. Okay. The bomb black woman that God made me. Okay. Yes. That's it. I love That's you. Don't it. Quote that. Yes. <laughs> the bomb black woman that God made me. Yes, yes. ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So now we're gonna just move to uh listen, Linda. Listen. Like, like how y'all did that. Listen. Think. We picked a whole bunch of topics this week. We don't know what to talk about, but Lo just found something on the shade room. Um, Rachel Dolezal. She has a documentary coming to Netflix. I wonder how much they're paying. It's enough for me. Look, I don't know if y'all remember Rachel, but Rachel was the um, Caucasian woman that pretended to be African-American. She was head over the NAACP. And she just... 
she just pretended to be black. That's crazy. Her her issue was that she pretended to be black. She could have literally just been a white woman who was right. head over NAACP and we would have been just fine with that. Right. But it's the fact that she she took on a black role. She yeah. took on that she was a black woman with kinky hair. Right. Uh, then she adopted black children. Something of, something like that. She, it was just crazy. It was just crazy. But apparently, she's still out here collecting these coins because Netflix just announced that she has a doc- documentary coming on. And she's going to get a bunch of views because people really want to know what the fuck. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I will definitely probably tune in to, to this documentary. It, so I can... See what the hell. I, I just want to get into her mindset. I just want to know her purpose. Because like yeah. I said, I would have had no problem with Rachel being a white woman over the head of NAACP. Yeah. That's fine. Get, know our culture. Spread it to your white yeah. counterparts. Yeah. Like, I would have loved that. But it's the fact that you pretended to be black that I have an issue yeah. with. And I just want to get into... I just want to see her mindset. She, I, she, she better not be getting more than Monique. She... <laughs> This girl, <laughs> she's clearly insane because she didn't change her name to Ketchy Amar Diallo. Like she probably got like she probably in some type she's of scheme gonna... or something. She be probably scamming people. Schizo. She'll blame it she's on an identity schizo. crisis. Girl, she probably had a whole new social under that name. Her credit excellent. She probably does. Her credit excellent. Well, no, she probably want to be black, so it's bad. <laughs> probably oh, no. Ketchy. She started she making up Ketchy. Shit. Ketchy. Your name is Rachel. <laughs> Rachel. You were born Rachel Dollars. That, like, be yourself. Be who you are. That's the whole point of Brown Sugar Babe. And hopefully, if Rachel's listening, she'll understand that our message is to spread light yeah. and to be true who you are. To who you are. Be who baby. you are. Walk in your truth. Walk in your truth. And she probably be like, my truth is to be black. <laughs> And she really, she probably look herself in the mirror every day and be like, you are a black woman. She probably says that. You are a bald black woman. You are a bald black woman. You are a black woman. Yo, this is crazy. I got to say, it, it's... When is it coming out? Um, it's, it's set to premiere at the Tribeca Film Festival. The Tribeca Film Netflix. Festival. So let me Google when that is. When oh. the Tribeca Film Festival. You know, the Shade Room don't add everything. Okay. They want you to go to the website. Right. The website. You, better, you better be... <laughs> You better pay the dues. <laughs> Hello. I'm not mad I'm at you, Shay Room. But um, no, um, I'll, I'll look at the first 20 minutes of it. If it if it holds my interest, I'll finish it. But um, I wasn't into the story when it dropped. I laughed. I was just like, this is ridiculous. Um, but right? she got she got the attention that I felt like she was looking for. So April 18th through the 29th is the Tribeca Film Festival. Okay, so then Netflix will probably have it in about May. May, May June. June. Mm-hmm. And I'll probably scroll right on past. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I want to see what she's talking about, but I don't want to give her the stream. I will not. Mm-hmm. It's a yes and a no for me at the same time. It's a yes for Do me right now. Leg? Do they have also, a Also, <laughs> yo, can I just... Yo, okay, let me ask y'all something. Mm-hmm. Have you, do y'all be commenting, like, with the stories and stuff? Do y'all ever, like, comment on, like, celebrities, like, pages and stuff? Like, they're, you know, just like, ha, 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 ha. I comment on the shade room if they're talking about celebrities or something, but I never like, do. I don't comment, like, on Chris Brown stuff. Mm. I'm out of work. I never do celebrities. No, no, I just no. do the shade like, room. People, okay. Why? Because people feel like, because the algorithms have changed... <laughs> people be just responding. Like, people just be, like, responding, like, now. Like, you feel like people are more engaged now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's just, like, really funny. It's just, like... What, wait, what was the point of that? Like, I'm saying, no, the backstory? There was no backstory. I was just oh. asking you guys oh. to compare to see if I'm tripping, because that's what I've been thinking. Oh. oh, no, just because I do that. No, that's oh, the backstory. Okay. My bad. The backstory is I do that. Okay. Like, I always comment. You know, I laugh a lot. But I never expect for a response. Yeah. And it, before, it's never been a response. So like now it's like they yeah. people respond a lot more. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. But I was just asking, like I was trying to compare. A celebrity clap back at you, girl. Not like Lauren. If I see her name is low on the shade room girl, with some <laughs> right? like no, ballerific no, comic no, creepy. No, it's not like no celeb. I mean, like you know, like influencers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, okay. Like okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. No, I do. I mean. I Absolutely. Not like celebrities. About social media, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, social media in general. Like if a popular page, like I say, Shade Room or Baller, like they post like a funny video or something, I'm always just like the laughing emojis or yeah. LOL, mm-hmm. just something. I don't see nothing wrong with it. I think I'm engaging with the general public, which is the point of social of media. Course, of yeah. course. Yeah. yeah. But sometimes people like... <laughs> it was just a random no, question. <laughs> no. No. 
Y'all Lawrence tell us to take it out, and we're not. <laughs> we're not taking it out. We're no, because I'm making, I'm making it sound so random. I didn't think it was going to be that random. It was random, though. It was random. Was it? Yeah. A little. We were talking about we were, Rachel and her whiteness, and you came in with the... with the, But we were on talking about social media. We were on the shade room, though, so I just felt like we were talking about Instagram. It's fine. That's cool. I'm, I'm here. Babes. I respond. I, I, you I, respond to the influential celebrities on social media. I do, and I found a response back I don't want before. to. Yeah, really? that's what I'm so I no, my thing was I just wanted to like be like, okay, like is this a, cause you know like Are you, you know, tripping? You just want to know, you know if you was crazy. <laughs> you know, you don't want to be like, oh shit, you know, I was about to and be like, bitch, you just doing that because you can get them impressions and get that engagement up. <laughs> oh. Don't play me, girl. <laughs> Don't, yes. don't, don't let me get too excited. Don't let me get too happy. Right. Like, no, I didn't you're not tripping. Okay. Not tripping. Thank you. People not do tripping, that. Sis. Y'all, People do and I'm so sorry if this has been a random moment of love. <laughs> I apologize. A random, random moment, moment, moment of love. I love that segment. I love it. Okay. Love it. Sorry. Y'all ready to raise the glass? But yeah, I know. No, lie. We be getting yelled at because we be forgetting to do glasses wow. up. Yeah. Wow. The babes, they, I definitely got a couple of comments from babes. We like, y'all forgot to do glasses up before the main topic. <laughs> Lip. Yeah, oh. Chloe is on Lent, so she can't even drink right now. So that's the main reason why we've been forgetting. We have not had liquor right. in a minute, and I'm trying to be healthy, so I'm not. I'm not drinking my calories. I'm right. right. All right. Well, Lauren, so Lo is gonna red wine real quick. Lo is gonna drink for us, but we're definitely gonna get the glasses up. So, right. ladies, bays, bows. If you are listening, up. glasses, glasses up. up. My mental glass of Hennessy. Glasses up. Hey. Pinky up. And let it down. Let's do it. All right. Uh, Y'all know what we talking about today? Sonara, what are we talking about today? Let's talk about sex, baby. Hey. 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 <laughs> Me. Hey. Yeah, it's about to, it ain't gonna get nasty, but it, yeah, it, we're it, not it's gonna, sloppy. It gonna yeah, it's sloppy. not gonna be a sloppy conversation. It's gonna be a real conversation. It's gonna be classy. It's gonna be us talking about and sex and mm-hmm. how our views on sex, our sex stories, experiences, uh, our experiences, and you know, just you know, trying to get in each other's business. You know. So if you do have a young uh, daughter under the age of what? <sighs> 12. Right. 12. No, 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 no. From 12 to starting at 12 on to about on up. So I'm yeah. going to be bad then. So if you, uh, if you have a daughter under the age of 12 or if you have a daughter who listens and you don't want her to kind of hear this conversation. Oh, that's where you were going. That's where I was going with Oh, my bad. My bad. I, uh, I was I'm saying, saying I'm more. Like 16, 17. No. I thought you were talking about like. We can get this eases on into there, but I just want to give a fair warning to our babes who do have their yeah. uh, young daughters who do listen. Um, oh, if they're. Yeah. If you don't want them to hear about sex and the ins and outs, and this is an episode you're definitely going to want to skip. Um, but thank it, you for listening. But though. thank you for listening. Yeah. Mom, uh, we're just giving them a warning. Trying to be nosy. Turn it off, mom. <laughs> turn, turn it off, turn mom. It off. Maybe being but nosy. for the parents who do have younger daughters and um, you know, or older daughters, you may want to tune in because this may give you may. Some type of direction on how you want to talk to your daughters about sex. Absolutely. Because we're definitely going to talk to you about how our parents talk to us about sex. Yeah. Let's start with that. Let's start with that. Let's start with that. I'll start. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, It was like, don't do it until you get married. And that was it. There was no type of sex ed. Like, there was like, we ain't even teach you that shit because you're not about to do it. Like period, so that that's that's it. That's all. That's yeah. all y'all got. Yeah. That's the yeah. same for me. My mom was like, "Are you fucking? Keep it that way." <laughs> and I was like, "Okay," and I did. I was not doing it. Wow, because I didn't want to get pregnant. She scared me with the pregnancy. I was like, "Okay," because she had me when she was sixteen. Yeah. She was going to Willow Ridge, you know. That's why I didn't go to Willow Ridge. I guess she was traumatized, so she was like, "Don't have sex, you'll get pregnant," and I didn't want a baby. Cause I was into sports, so I was like, "Okay, I'm good." And that was the end of that. Y'all had very good, peaceful talks. This is how my sex story went my, went with my mom. My mom never, um, we never talked about my sex or anything like that. Like my mom has always just seen me as this little precious little angel. Aww. So uh, in a uh, high school, I had a very uh, long term boyfriend. Um, this is my first love. And uh, we had sex, and but I didn't tell her that we had sex until after we broke up, which was like senior year going into high school. And um, when I told her, she uh, well, she asked. I think she asked. She was like, "Chloe, did you and so and so have sex?" And I felt like I was grown enough, you know, to be like, "Yeah, How we had you? sex." It's probably 
16 or 17. <gasps> oh, so you feel like you were ah! at 16 or 17. I just felt like she knew I had a boyfriend for yeah. two years. So it was just like, was mama, expected. you know, it's expected. Really? So I told her, I would assume. Oh I assume, you know, yeah. that was the okay. mistake. I assume. So I told her, I was just like, yeah. Yeah, when I say my mama cried. Aww. My mama cried when I told her. Like, she was just so in shock. And I was in shock that she was in shock. Wow. And I was, because, you know, we didn't, you know, y'all yeah. done left me home before. Of course he been up in this house and I've been up at this house. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> You're a mother. Like, yeah. Right. I'm like, you should know. Yeah. yeah. But um, my mama's an angel too, so it probably just went over her head. But when Aww. I say she cried and was just so, she was disappointed. And it hurt me that she was disappointed. And I just felt like a little slut monkey. But I was just like, it's just a been my point. A slut monkey. Y'all. But she was not strict. She, um, so funny too. She even called my ex's mama <gasps> and told her. No. I was no. like, mama, what? Yeah, like, she what? told my daddy and everything. I felt like it was a public service announcement. Girl, she no. she did the most. Wow. But needless to say, we're over it. But now my sex story was just. Tell him the conversation was just not. It was not good for me. Girl, why? I still. My mom probably still. We still don't. Nah, <laughs> no, nah, fam. No, damn. Keep that same Man. energy, girl. You could have swore I came to and thought I was I pregnant. Wish, honestly, I wish that we would have been more open about it because I think it would have gave me more knowledge about taking care of myself. Yeah, and, you know. When I do have sex, like, yeah. that's how I want to be as a parent. It's was like yeah. I can't stop you. I, I can't really control <laughs> you. I can while you're in my house, but I really can't. I can't see you everywhere, so I want yeah. you know. Yeah, I want you to be comfortable enough to come talk to me and know. I just want you to be healthy and safe. You know what I'm saying? I think I agree. I just feel like when I have a daughter, or even when I have sons, like I definitely want that conversation to be open because yeah. I want you to come to me if you have any questions. Like when it comes to health and just save or pregnancy or yeah. anything like that I, I want you to talk to me about these things and I'm not going to be the parent that's going to yell at you or I'm going to buy my son some condoms probably buy my daughter some female ah! condoms I'm just going to do all of that to just make you comfortable I don't think there's no reason to sneak Sonara no, you're gasping right now What's yeah going because on? I have two daughters and it's like it's a no for me uh, like, what really <laughs> I I don't know what I would do if my if Imani or Riley come in my house at sixteen or seventeen and like I'm having sex. I uh uh-uh. uh. So you wouldn't want them to express that to you. I mean, we we have a relationship that's not like the one I have with my mom. Yeah. So I try to be more open and explain things to them, and because kids are introduced to so many different things so much younger now, it's kind of like you have to speed things up because I think uh Imani's seven she's in first grade and she's seen a penis on TV oh, oh no. lord wow y'all remember them times oh, I wonder wow. if you even do that y'all remember growing up like when we watched when sex scenes come came on come y'all I wonder if parents still do that I do that but she had walked in and I didn't know she was in there I was watching uh Hall Pass and mm. It was a black, oh my God, it was a black guy. So, you know, yeah. She was like, oh, he has a tail. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. That is so cute. Yeah. <laughs> so now it's like, she asks, like, do you have a tail? And I'm like, no. So I'm I'm scared. I feel like while she's so young, let her keep thinking that's a tail. Ooh. Like, yeah, I got Yeah, tail. until she's boys, older. And then she was in, she was in kindergarten at the time. And their their restrooms were inside the class, and a boy was using the bathroom with the door open. So she's like, "Why was he standing up?" And I'm like, "Shit!" Because he has a because he has a penis. Oh my god! I'm not. I don't think yeah. it's time. I don't think, think it's anything wrong. Like fifth grade. But thing is, like, okay, what's wrong? But if I feel like if you make it like it's a bad thing, yeah, then kids are gonna want to do something bad. Yeah, that's right. true. So if I if you say like it's a penis and it, it that's what it is because that's what it is. Yeah, like, that's what a male has. That's why he was standing up yeah. because he has to stand up. You don't even have to get into sex on that. Well, topic. no, it wasn't like we. I had to discuss anatomy with them because, mm-hmm. um, they're you know, my husband is in the house, so they ask questions. They're like, um, do boys stand up? Oh my god, I forgot about this. Um, she went at her friend's house and she has all brothers, mm-hmm. and she came back home and she was like, Mom, do boys got a dick? Oh, oh wow! And no, I'm like, where are they? That word, right? right. And that's how they talk in their house, and I'm just like, 
Mm-hmm. That's not what you say. It's a lady part. It's a man part, and that's mm-hmm. that's where it is right now with us. Yeah, my lady child part, won't be going part. back to that house. And, 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 and she did. And she didn't. I'm like, yeah. oh, hell no. You don't go back over there. Why would you say that around? Yeah, don't say no, that. No, that's Mm-mm. too much. Mm-hmm. All right, good. How old were you guys when you lost your virginity? Do you remember? Sixteen. I wrote it in my diary. I, I said I would my... lose my virginity at sixteen. It was like a goal, y'all. That's so sad. For real? No, for real. Yeah, I think I lost mine two weeks before I turned 16. I remember. You don't remember? It was January 18? 1st, New Year's Eve. She remembered a date. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, girl. I do not go that far, but I I'll do know I lost it. It's crazy. I can't remember when I lost my virginity, but I can remember my date of conception for both my kids. Aw, of course. Crazy. Oh, I feel like that's way more important. You think so? The then conception of your because oh, yeah. when you go to the doctor, they're gonna tell you they're like how long exactly. But, exact date, but, but I you, know. I feel like you would exact know. Date, yeah. time, place, what? what I remember that too. I'm writing it down in my baby book. Like, like, yeah, I remember all that. She said, "What the air smelled like?" Was, <laughs> never mind. Oh, my mom's not listening. So, in yeah, Imani was conceived at the front door, New Year's Eve night, after me and Derek came home from watch night. At what do you mean at the front door? Like we were standing at the front door. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> At the front wait a minute. Door. Y'all didn't we have. Didn't wait. Y'all, guess, so y'all just had sex out on the front door my patio? My brother could have came up anytime. Yeah. Was, was it? Like, were y'all Whoa. standing up, sitting yeah, down? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to paint this mystery. Like, okay, you at the front door right there? And it was just kind of like a bent over situation. Y'all yeah, was, was outside the house? We were inside. We were inside the house. We had walked through the door. Locked it and went to work. Went to work. Couldn't right wait. Couldn't wait. Boom, boom, <laughs> boom. still on. Everything. Jack is still on. Straight from church. Oh, Lord have mercy. Watch night, girl. God, please forgive them. They married. They married. So, now. God, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. well. Yeah, we were married then. We was like, what? 18? I can't know. It's okay. It's okay. God, God forgives all. Come on now. God forgives all. He sees all. And he forgives all. Amen. 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 But a beautiful baby girl came beautiful. out of it. The best. Amen. She's perfect. She so is y'all, perfect. okay, well, did it hurt the first time? My first time hurt like hell. Did y'all bleed? Huh? Yeah. Is that that's graphic? No, I, no, it's not. It's not graphic. I didn't. I did. I bled like my cherry popped when I was in the shower when I was younger one day. So really? yeah, it, it randomly popped in the shower one day. Oh, but no, I didn't bleed. My first time hurt like hell. Let me tell you why. Because we're stupid. Let me tell you why we're stupid. <laughs> And this is this is a good lesson for the uh, for the young ladies out there who haven't had sex and are thinking about it. We, you know, I, your first time having sex, you know, your your cootie cat mm-hmm. is yeah. tight as heck. As heck. Yeah. Well, ain't nothing going in there. Uh-uh. So, of course, he was on top and tried to, like, get it yeah. in there. Oh it wasn't going. Yeah. So, we had the dumb genius idea, like, Chloe, get on top. Let's go from there. Mm-hmm. That was the worst. Decision no. we could have ever made. I don't even think we had sex. I don't. Even, I wouldn't even consider that our first time. I was just like, you know what? This let's ain't just, happening. Let's just, mm-hmm. let's just put a pin let's on re-room. this. Let's put a pin on this. Let me so that's how my first time went. Make it was sure painful. You are highly lubricated before yeah. you let that thing get up in your thing. Oh, baby, yeah. that, that, that will hurt you. Oh, girl, mine was on the kitchen floor. That's country. I know, <laughs> but it was on okay. The kitchen floor. I don't know why we felt like we couldn't be on the couch. Yeah, right. But, Girl, because his sister was in the other room. Okay. There was people in the house. So, a bed wasn't available. The bed wasn't available. Okay. So, it was on kitchen floor. It was a couple seconds. And when it was done, he left, went to the restroom, and I cried because I thought he was... Because, you know, your parents always tell... That, that is one thing my parents tell you. Boys just want one thing. <gasps> That's all they want. All they want is just to have... Just to get in your panties. That's all they want to do is just get in your panties. So, y'all, when I lost my... When he when he got... When he was done, he got up and went to the restroom, y'all. I was... Just distraught because I was like, "Oh, it came true. <laughs> everything my dad, everything my dad said, it came true. He didn't let He got what he wanted, and now he's gone. It is done, girl. I was crying, and he was like, "What is wrong with you? Why are you crying?" He was like, "I just had to go, you know, you know." But y'all was so emotional. Oh my but it was God. horrible because it was on the kitchen floor. So for all you babes out there who are under the age of the where you can have your own spot. Don't do it until you can because that's stupid. Because yeah, it's I would definitely suggest finding a nice bed because my first time was on the bed and that shit was still painful. Yeah. So, I don't that's know. Good. Aggravating. Sonara. I had to, doing? like, it wasn't, it was kind of graphic. Like, I thought I started my period because I bleed. I bled. Ooh. So, and then having to wash those sheets. Yeah, nah. 
Oh yeah. Nah. He wasn't playing. Uh uh-uh. uh. And he like he was supposed to be ten. He was supposed to be precious yeah. with you. Then was you his first two? <laughs> mm hmm. That's why. So he knew what he was That's doing. Not, yeah. See, my first was my first was that I was his first. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Me too. So okay. we both didn't know. That's why yeah, we, we did that know. stupid ass shit. That's well, exactly why we ended up doing that shit. Right. Stupid ass shit. Stupid ass shit. But yeah. now the next time we had sex, the second time, which I feel like was a month later. Y'all was ready. It was great. It oh, was fantastic. Yeah. We were, it was great. It yeah, was right. fantastic. That's your problem. She a pro. So like, okay. Did y'all go through whole? Did y'all go through a whole phase? Or how do y'all feel about whole phases? Cause you know, like, you know how some people be like, okay, as soon as you have sex, like people just, just get going. It just yeah. be like a bunny, just go, 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 go. So yeah. like, did y'all like have that experience at all? No, no. I'm gonna be honest. I'm kind of like in public. I'm like I'm the perfect example of lady in the street. Freaking cheap because yeah. in public, like, I do not talk about this, and I'm like, ooh, no, no, but I'm nasty for my man. <laughs> but that's the only like, way to be. It's like, it's yeah. like, but I can't talk about it. I don't know. It's weird. What you mean, like, in conversation like, with, like, I mean, like people. having a having sex with a lot of people. Like that's like, ooh, what do maybe you not me. Oh, yeah. What? No. I'm not saying it's nasty and it's hoish. It's just not for me. So I don't really have anything to contribute because yeah. I'm married now. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't said something more than one person. Yeah. Okay. Like, I I can't share those stories. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I wish asking. I had some stories to be yeah. honest so I would have something to um, go, contribute. Yeah. Like, but but it's a- I don't feel like I missed out because my sex life is great. But I'm just like... I don't have nothing to compare anything to. How do you feel about it, though? What do you mean? Like, you said, so you think, uh, like, being, like, when I say whole faces, I mean, like, having more, like, you know, just being sexually active. So, you would say, so if you weren't married, would you Mm -hmm. think you'd be sexually active? Hell yeah. You do? Like, she's got to have it. Like, we was talking? (laughs) Like, that would probably be married? Absolutely. Because I have a large appetite. I have mm. a large appetite. Like that's I have, a quote. My, that's a quote. Y'all feel like, <laughs> that's a like quote. my sexual appetite is like yeah, for real. Like I think that it's because I haven't had a lot of sex mm. as young. I guess younger. Like like I'm thinking like when me and my husband first started having sex, it's like two and three times a day. Wow. Like hey, let's if we weren't doing nothing and we both look at each other, get each other out, we have sex. Give each other the eye. <laughs> but see, I would much rather be in that situation yeah. to where it's just like I have a consistent partner and I can consistently yeah. sex the mess out of you yeah. versus being single and having to like either find a partner or constantly switch partners or yeah. something. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I'm single yeah. and, um, you know, I've had a couple of sex partners, but um, I would totally just want to be in a situation like I try not to have sex until I'm in relationships because I just want Mm -hmm. this is another conversation we're going to get into later if numbers matter or not but um I just don't want to be out here I watch she's gotta have it I don't know if you guys watch that show but it's it's really about this sexually free black woman (laughs) and I be watching it sometimes thinking like I kind of want to be like her I just want to be free in my sex life and just own it and control it but at the same time I'm just like but I want to keep my little cootie cat to myself exactly. or just give it out to a special. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of in the, the fence on it. But on the topic of whole faces, I feel like I slight. Sorry, I kind of went all off topic. No, no, no. On the, slight, the, com- the topic of whole faces, I feel like I had a slight one in college where I just, I did not care. You know, I had, well, yeah. I that was amazing, though. But, the, but I didn't have sex. Saying, so you did have, you did experience a little Right. Bit. It's not like I was sexing new people every other week. But I, you know, I definitely had sex with people who meant nothing or just just out here just having sex without a care in the world, you know? So, to me, that's considered a whole phase. Like, yeah, that was yeah. my whole phase. Yeah. You know, people have different definitions of whole phases, but that was mine. I'm and that's usually when most people have it. I want to tell stories, like, fun stories. Girl, no. Because most... It's not... But, I mean... I know it's not it's fun not, stories, it's, but I just feel like I'm super self-conscious on who I would share my body with. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it's me like... Me too! Oh, but like they're... You need be shit... Like, you, every time I have sex with someone, you pluck a rose petal off. And now nah, I don't have no rose because I'm fucking everybody. Aww. Is that well, weird? I'm, I'm a so twin. Twin. I am a twin. I am a brittle twig burnt down to the... Shut no, <laughs> To the... Oh, no, I'm just playing. 
like, I'm more of a branch with a couple of leaves still left <laughs> on there. But no, I need to say, but I, yeah, I'm, but being, I'm being funny. Like, I'm, I'm not being serious. Um, I, I think, I think there's a part of me that think they're very necessary. Um, and when my definition of whole phase is the same as like, you know, Chloe, just kind of like being sex, I guess sexually, just being sexually active. You have one? Um, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, just being like, you know, like just sexually active and just dating and just not really thinking too much about anything, basically. Yeah. Not really thinking too much about like your interactions with like men, if that makes sense. I don't know. I hope that don't sound bad. No, but see, no, let me like, you know, like, you know what I mean? Fine. Like, not, not, not that you don't have re- real respect in uh, certain situations. I didn't really have respect for myself. Okay, look. I don't know. I, don't I mean, that's, to, I don't want it to sound No, bad, no, no, but that's know? honest, though. It's, it's a lot true. of, like, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm interested. That, let me tell you why that's so honest to say, because in some whole faces, like, the the sex that we do have, it's really looked at as, like, bitch, you don't respect yourself. Because it's like, why? Exactly. Why, why, why would you do that? Why would you do that? It's like, why? It's just like, and and you, that, yeah. that honestly goes into, like, how sex, like, really blind, like, really just, like, it, It's a blind, yeah, blind mechanism. Yeah. But see, let me tell you why I I had like a slight whole face, but I wasn't good at it because I'm too emotional. Yeah. I'm too emotional for a whole face, to be yeah. honest with you. Because it's just like when I have sex with you, I'm like kind of. You making love. Yeah. I'm but kind of see, attached. That I went through that when I first broke up with, <clears throat> with my long-term boyfriend. I went through that. But after a while, I mean, you got to. You, after your pride gets hurt so many times and you like get played, not really. Like, you get played so many times, like, you just kind of learn. Like, you just be like, okay, no. Nah. Like, nigga, what? Like, I remember this one dude, like, I feel like it was the first dude I, like, messed around with after my long-term boyfriend. And, like, he would, like, he was very much so into me, you know, like, the very cliche shit. Very much so, like, texting me all the time, you know, good morning, da 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 And, girl, as soon as we, as soon as he, he laid he it down, it. quote, unquote, laid it down, mm-hmm. girl, I be like, hey, Dipped on it. you know, because me yeah. coming from a relationship, being in a relationship for almost seven years, like for a very long time, I'm like, I, I'm, I'm used to a guy reacting to me. Like, I'm yeah. not used to no nigga ignoring me. Excuse me. You know? Yeah. So, he was like, <laughs> Excuse so he me. would do like, I, like, he would text me, I-T-E. Y'all, I'll never forget this shit. Because I doing? actually uh, brought this into my own little capsule and did it myself. I, like, I. Oh, like, I. Yeah. So, you know, so me, I'm like, so good morning. He was like, uh, so he won't text. Well, you haven't texted me. What you mean? You know how niggas, what you mean? Ooh. Like, what do you mean when I mean? Like, where are you? Like, what? And then, and then I'm like, what do you mean? What? Like, what? You know, what's good? Like, okay, well, don't even worry about it. You ain't got to text me, blah, blah, blah. And he'd be like, all right. Ooh, woo. So yeah. he was like, so it was like, and most most dudes in college were like that. It was mm-hmm. like they did not oh, want yeah. any type of attachment. So mm-hmm. it's kind of like you kind of have to roll with the fucking punches. So yeah. I learned to Woo! learn quick to like not really wear shit on my sleeve and to mm-hmm. really like be hard with it. So I just started playing ball with the ass, and that should be. That's I don't know that I did that. If I would have did that, I wouldn't be so. I don't know. Have sex on such a pedestal. It but it's no, it no, 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 be. no. But now, but I'm in a should relationship. Yeah, now. Yeah, I feel like well, now I'm like it's not that serious. It's just sex. No, no. Sex should be. I feel like on it's a based pedestal. on the person that you're. Okay, yeah. I honestly believe it's the time in your life. You know, like where you are. You know, yeah. me being in a relationship now, I definitely see sex as something very spiritual and okay. like it's a connection. It's like more, it's not like it's more than just. It's sex. not like um, what do you call it? It's not disposable to me at okay. all. Yeah. Like, at that point in my life, it yeah. was just. That was me too. I really didn't know a chance to attach me I was trying to get my shit together. Like, girl, yeah. I ain't had no time to be, you know, whatever. I was in no position to be married to nobody or be with nobody or relationship yeah. with nobody. Like, it was just like whatever. So, yeah. I think, think like, you know. It, I, yeah, I just think college I mean, is okay. a time for, yeah. I know that sounds like similar. Me and Lauren kind of went through whole phases around the college ages of our life. Yeah. And it's just kind of a, I mean, you're young and dumb, man. Like, you yeah. in college. You ain't around your parents. You get freedom to do whatever, whatever you want. Even in college, though, because I had a boyfriend, but he didn't come. He Well, my husband was my boyfriend in college. And if you look at all my pictures, they're still on Facebook. Of me in college, I'm on the phone mm-hmm. with him. No. Like, every picture, I'm holding my phone. I had a razor, too, because it was the best. And it was just up to my face like this. The oh, whole, every picture. I'm, and they knew, like, this is Derek. When Derek come, because I went to Prairie, 
when Derek come, like, don't come to my room. My roommate, she's my friend. I'm like, either you're going to have to go home or you're going to have to go to another room. I'm low-key happy I didn't have a relationship in college. Girl, I'm glad. Girl, yeah. I'm happy for you because <laughs> I only had it for a year and some change. And I'm glad that shit. Because when you look back, it's yeah. like, no. Like, yeah. I, it's. It's it's okay for certain people. Like I feel like especially because y'all got married, so that's that, dope. that makes yeah. it's like a happy happy story. Yeah, but like I feel like I grew a hell of a, a lot. hell of a <laughs> lot. Like oh, oh no, I don't like, regret not one dumb ass decision me neither, that I made in me college because I would not be the woman that I, I am standing today. right here before <laughs> you today. And I had that. so much fun in Girl, college. Yeah, could, yeah. could I have been smarter about a lot of situations? Definitely. And I'm talking about sex too. I could have been a lot smarter about a lot of situations yeah. that I put myself in yeah. but I don't regret now one and I think now a relationship one. would have just kind of helped me back from embracing the woman that I want to be you get what I'm saying or even finding exactly yeah exactly yeah exactly yeah because you because you start to this is what I dealt with I can only speak for myself mm-hmm. you start to kind of like uh, do I want to do that? Because yeah. you have somebody yeah. who known you, so you kind of feel like you have to stick within the mold that they knew you as, mm. as opposed to really like venturing out wings. and spreading your wings and and figuring really figuring out. So I kind of felt like, dang, I can't really be myself or even try to figure out who I am. Yeah, my- without being, you know. And I felt I felt judged at some points because I wanted to do this or try things or do whatever. Mm-hmm. So it's like it was it became difficult, and I. If anything, in my whole face let me know that I just can't be a hoe. Yeah. Honestly, that's what it, t- yeah. it taught me. Sorry. Like, bitch, you are not good at this skill set. <laughs> Try it again. You are in more of a relationship square type person. One. I'm a square one. <laughs> as, much, I like as much as as much as females pride they, themselves, because you know you still got them old hoes. Yeah. You're still, yeah. Like as much as female, I feel like that shit is still lonely as fuck. Being yeah. Is is lonely to have men like make men really disposable every woman wants to be loved at the end of the day period and yeah. period it, it's a it is a power stroke it is an ego stroke it's a power thing or whatever mm-hmm. but at the end of the day you want a man for yourself and after a while these niggas be like no yeah they yeah. ain't fucking with your ass because you be playing too many fucking games like that shit i be like what games what you talking about because after a while yeah. niggas be catching niggas will catch this shit like mm-hmm. because a lot of the times that the dude that you messing with over and over and over again he low-key probably likes you and he's just like you're playing you're playing you be like, like I'm, no. he's trying to settle down and exactly. you still out here like hey yeah. Yeah. right you so playing. It's just, um, it's not for everybody. Like, I don't think it's the not. whole phase is for everybody. Um, I don't think anyone is judged for having one. But it's, but it's, the point is, it's okay. It's okay. Hell so yeah. Like, don't allow anybody to. It, yeah. It, yeah. I, I believe that it, I mean, it helps you grow and it's okay. Like, don't allow anybody to make you feel. Don't yeah. regret it. I mean, <laughs> do not regret don't it. Don't regret your Be choices. careful. That's, that's the best thing yeah. to give advice for when it comes to, like, sex. Just be careful. Mm-hmm. Don't be afraid to go take nobody to get tested before. Like, just don't be afraid to ask questions. And don't think you're about to get married after he put that thing Oh, yeah. Okay. Just be smart. Be smart and be Boom. careful. And be like Chloe. After a while, when you realize you can't do it, stop. Oh, yeah. Stop. Just stop. Know your limit. Don't Girl, hurt yourself. Girl, it didn't take long either. I was just like, this shit is not <laughs> for me. <Don't> <laughs> and then I, I probably went two years without having sex. And that was just off the strength because I wasn't dating anyone. I wasn't talking to anybody. And I just wasn't craving it. Mm-hmm. And, like, now I'm going on. I'm past a year without sex because I'm not dating anyone. I'm not talking to anyone. And I've just kind of learned to put. That's, and that's, you know, a lot of women, they say they have sex to be in control. But I feel like I'm most in control because I don't have to have sex. Oh, yeah. You know, to get off or just to be happy. Well, like, sure. I'm good. Yeah. Like, I'm that's totally good. To yeah, that's a good place to be. That's a long time. The longest I've been without sex is 336 days. You counted a bitch? Yeah, because <laughs> me and my husband, well, when, when he was my baby daddy, we had broke up. Yeah. And that was the end of sex for me because I was like. Girl, I'm surprised you ain't kind of tipping the tap in the, in the waters. I thought I was going to so distraught because I was a single <laughs> mother and my baby daddy didn't want to be with me no more. Whole animal. I don't understand how. That's just me. I don't understand how. Wait, what are you trying to say, love? I don't understand like how like you've gone a year and a half without sex. Mm-hmm. She said when she broke up with her that she was a year. Like I would, I don't feel, I don't feel like I would be able to do that. Cause I was too busy crying and trying to take her. Girl, I was crying with this. Imani was a baby. And I was still, I was still fucking. 
Oh. <laughs> I have time. I was feeling my. I was. I was grounding my sorrows with other people. With yeah. Other I didn't yeah. have time. I was a mother of a baby. Like yeah, Imani yeah. was like. I feel like this. I know. I just think it's, she was still in diapers. We said it earlier on the show. I think it's the time of phase that you are in your life. Right yeah. now, I feel like the time of phase that I am in my life, I'm all about me. So I don't want any type of penis distractions because it could become oh, a distraction. Yeah. But I feel like, let me still be single and I'm tapping 30. I'm out here. Yeah, we out here. I am I, out here. We out here. In these 30 30s. 30 30s. Dirty 30s. Dirty 30s. Dirty 30s. <laughs> Getting dirty. No, Ooh. I'm kidding, guys. No, Listen, like, your husband. I... And then, devil, see, that's my thing. I feel like when you get up in dirt, you need to be holding your kitty cat and make sure yeah. they groom it together before it fall out your body. Because <laughs> you're too old to be out here slanging that pussy. <laughs> you need to be, you should, 20s is your time. You limber. Yeah. You, you, you got full of energy and vibrant. Ah. Your juices are still flowing, right? You're doing yoga. You're doing yoga. You can flip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You wait till you're 30 and 32. Your back going to start hurting. Yeah, bitch. because let me oh, tell you something. Hell no. Hold on, no. I be hurting. Girl, oh, no. I got indigestion real bad at 28 now. On the contrary, though, I, I heard 30 is the best time to have sex. I heard 40. I heard the older you get, the better that sex is. I'm 30 and married and having sex. And oh, but of course. That is of always course. the ultimate goal. But if God don't see fit for me to be married at 30, I just might be out here just (laughs) flipping it and tumbling. I don't think I would be. I I feel like I'm going to be like how y'all are now. Like, if I if I would if I would be single at 30, I wouldn't be out here giving it up. I'd be give. I'd be very particular with who I give it to because I know I'd be intentional about. What the fuck I'm giving it for? Because I'm trying to get me married. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. I'm not. I'm not about to be out here just giving my pussy out like that. Yeah. That's when I'm getting a deal though and a bullet. Yeah. Oh, oh girl, I was like, what the fuck? Because you know you can get up and go. Somebody you was knocking on Lauren's door, and we all slowly looked to the door. Girl. But it's somebody running. It was just somebody running. running. That was scary. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So this is the good part, y'all. Penis size. Penis. Penis we t- side. We touched on this we briefly on. last week when our bows was on. But um Do y'all have any like stories? The about, size like, matter? Uh I don't Did we ask that already? We we we, we, we talked stories. about that last week, but um pen- I don't have any good stories on particular penises. Like I feel like when I was messing with the dude who had a big penis, he's the only one that has made me squirt. Woo! Yeah, and that was miss- that was missing with a dude who had a very large penis. And uh, Chloe, he- for all the babes out there who doesn't know what that is, can you explain that piece? Because this is a sexual episode. I don't even know if I can explain what squirting okay, means. Let me Google it then. Yeah, well, squirting is like it's so un- unexpected. It's it very not unexpected. something you can control. Yeah, it's not. It's no. I don't. And it, I don't, don't even do know how time. squirting. Yeah, you don't do it every time. It doesn't happen. I don't know. Personally, it doesn't happen often to me. I feel like no. in my whole sex capade of life, I've only squirted twice. I was just about to say that. Yeah. And what was like two weeks ago? Hello. Hello, married life. <laughs> yes. I'm like, I'm like, cause I've seen pornos where it's like girls, they like, it's about squirting. And I'm like, how the fuck are you squirting? And I've seen one where it was like a fucking shower. Mm-mm. Oh wow! She's shooting it in the air. Right? I'm I like, what? Yeah. Wow. She's so female ejaculation. Is mm-hmm. characterized as an expulsion of fluid from or near the vagina during or before an orgasm. So it's just a fluid, like it's like semen. It's just a big ass orgasm. That's okay. really what it is. It's just like a over the top orgasm. You Can don't we talk know? about orgasms, like y'all. Yeah, I'm still waiting to experience more in my life, like a Let lot more. Get a vibrator, okay? Yeah, no, I Let see. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Don't let me find yeah. your vibrator. Do you, not. You get, I'm te- let me tell you personally. Get that little silver bullet thingy. The little lipstick case. Baby. Mm-hmm. With multiple speeds. Mm-hmm. Look at With <laughs> multiple <laughs> speeds. <laughs> and it change your life. Oh, tell you something because no. I've never, I just figured out how to use the vibrator because I'm, you know, approved. But when I figured out how to do it. Do you use that in your marriage? What? Yes. I would totally use that with my partners. Hell yeah. But hold on. I know we're moving off topic on penis. Why? why? I would totally it, it, use that. I would it's not just for me. I would you just use your tongue in your mouth. No. See, he can okay. use both. See, Let no, me no, tell no, you. No. Hold on. Go ahead. Let me tell you though because I was about to buy a vibrator when I was dating a guy and we was personal. we were going to use it because while he was 
eating me out, he was going to use the vibrator as well. So it was just, talk about most, because his tongue game was already phenomenal. So adding that vibrator just to put on the hood of it. I'm telling you. Oh, God. I've never been into vibrators or dildos like that. I was like that first because I wasn't doing it right. No, I'm not doing it for me. I just, the machinery, the battery. You got to get the right one. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. He was like, what the fuck? I'm all you need. I'm like, no, but listen. But listen. Listen. Listen, Linda. And it's like, you just sit it there while you riding. It's like vibrating him as well. Because it's on him, girl. Let me tell you something. Now, I don't think nothing wrong with a little vibrator. Dress <laughs> I think that little yeah. extra. <laughs> that can't. A little extra. But I no, can't. on a comment of penis. Do. Yeah, penis size. Um, I That's personally, to me, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Like I said on the show last week, uh, of course, a big penis is fun, but at the same time, it could be painful. Is it, fun? it could be painful sometimes because you like, I can't move how I want no, to. No, you just gotta sometimes. get your. You gotta get your man. No, you gotta get your foot in right. Huh? <laughs> you gotta get your foot in right. Yes, you can. You will, and you can. You just get on it correctly. Like sometimes, y'all. This is what I sometimes. You gotta you gotta pay attention to that to that thing. You gotta see that to that that, that, that shape. Like where does he go when he gets hard? Does it go to the left? Is it straight up or does it go to the right? Let me see. Y'all like that so curve? That way, I love that curve. Love the the curve, curve is nice. Girl, curve me up. So man. you gotta you gotta move your body where it fits oh, for you. Look at her moving. We need a camera. Look at her moving. You gotta move it where it fits oh, you. So bring it a real comfortable in there. Cause I'm telling you, it's a plot. It's a spot. It'll get real comfortable. Look, you'll be like, oh, there you go. Go. <laughs> all the way down. All Look, the way I'm not down. saying a, a big down. penis is bad. I've definitely had it's one, and it's been ball. great. That is the dude that has made me squirt multiple times. So a big penis is definitely lovely. But, but I'm saying it ain't nothing wrong with an average size one too. So I, what's I big? What's fun. big? Then I was gonna say that what's big and what's average. I think I know you said the remote, like Dish Network. A remote. Dish Network remote. That's big or that's average? That's big to me. Okay. The to big, me too, the I'm big size penis dude that I'm talking about, we measured his penis with a Dish Network remote. Yeah. I think, uh, what about you? I think big would be like a wine bottle. Girl, shut your ass up. Lauren, who the fuck you? I'm telling you, like, y'all, I'm serious. Like, y'all need to see a picture. Like, like, because hard. I ain't never seen hard. Not like, like a wine the bottle. Bu- that lid? This mind by the we sitting there looking at this table. <laughs> this is my man that, two feet. Girl, you are tripping. What kids you having, bitch? Like, no Where ma'am. Is your <laughs> <At> <laughs> no ma'am. I need to know. I would run. No, Chloe, no. yes, it I would run. Out here. It's a no oh. for me. It's a no for me. I would run. <laughs> Lauren, what you doing with Throw this? Throw whole dick away. Yeah, I want all the bays or the bows, all the bays and the bows that are listening. Please go to your pantry or your kitchen and look at a wine bottle. Okay. And that is what Lauren said. No, listen, listen, listen. Where the where the actual stem is would be where the balls sit, and the actual penis would be the rest of it. Oh, okay. That's still big as fuck. That's still big. Yes. Okay. That's, I mean, that's what I said. That's what, that's what y'all said would be big. That's big. Well, that's funny because my friend, she sent me a picture of a dude sent her dick pic, which, by the way, guys, don't do that shit. That's, we that, don't that's want to see you that. Just, just lay it on. But, me. girl, she was, see you. <laughs> he was, like, it was, it was big. It was laying on the counter. Like, he was standing on the counter and it was, like, yeah. A waterfall. Y'all, I had, First of all, wash your dick on the counter. Like, <laughs> get it off of there. It made a get some picture. antibacterial. Jamaicans? Yeah. African. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Them motherfuckers? Yeah. Y'all say, that's a part, like, honestly, okay. But it's some Jamaicans and Africans out here that be out here slaying, and some African Americans, might I I'm add. Saying, I don't know what's in the water up in the north, but up in the north, they out here, they out here slanging on people. Goddamn. But seriously, like, it's something in the water over there because they be representing. But it's okay. Like, honestly and truly, I really feel like the the ever the a, a big dick is what makes you feel good you know whatever yeah. makes you feel good because there's some you know whatever makes you feel good that's it yeah that's your big dick that's so what's small a Vienna sausage a, pe- a, a pinky a little eraser a pinky I have y'all I have seen can I tell y'all a story Please? no for real can I tell Please? y'all a story because I'm trying to figure out what you're doing with that this a dude pinky. no pinky. I. This dude, Clint stimulation. You know when you're younger, you know you learn after a while. Like, mm-mm, like I need to let me feel. You yeah. know, and you know, you slick do it. 
Girl, this man, I wasn't able. He pulled, we know you, you have a foreplay, you kiss him, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. He pulled this thing out and got. <laughs> I felt, I felt, I honestly felt like it was a vagina on me. Oh my I'm God. I'm not kidding. And I was like. I mean, even hitting I, it from the back, legs up, it still it didn't hurt. No, it was no type of penetration at oh. all, y'all. I got up. I, I was like, oh, oh, it hurt. It hurt. <laughs> my <laughs> promise you. I was like, oh, oh. And I got up, y'all. I packed my bag. And, and I, I left. Yeah. He was like, where you going? I was like. I'm, I'm leaving. That can't do this. That's, that's disrespectful. That's that. small to me. Aww. If if any point in the sex that if he if you're on the bottom and he lifts your legs up mm-hmm. and you not kind of like hold up, yeah, that's small. <laughs> if hold you up. hitting it from the back and you don't feel like okay, right, I that's feel small. Like it now if I feel any type of like okay, hold right. up, right. back up right. a little bit, right. I'm good. Or any type I'm good. of pit of any type of. Pressure. Yeah. Can yeah. I get some pressure? Well, you get anyway. that back wall. Because there are some, there are some men who are small, but they know how to rotate. You. Yeah. They'll yeah. pull you up there. Exactly. You know, you know, I, 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 okay. My, that, you know and that's, what I'm saying? that's what I mean. If you got a small, not even small, but just an average size penis, you know, small. you could, you could definitely a little whatever. sausage, a little sausage. sausage, a little sausage. But if you have a little sausage, half of a pot, I of feel sausage. like it. It's all about how you work it. Yeah, you know you have to be confident to know that I got a small dick, but I'm finna, but I'm finna, I'm finna flip, I'm finna, it, and, and I'm gonna give you that mouth, and I'm gonna get that tongue game better, better be phenomenal. Let me tell you something. <laughs> if you, if your penis, let's be honest, fellas, let's let, look let, here, here, let, let, let's do it together. Look me in my eyes. Let's let's, let's do it together. <laughs> Look down at your penis. Look yeah. At pull it. out your pants. Look down at your penis. Yeah. If your penis is small, I don't care if it is on soft. You know it's small. <laughs> You if you better you better be able to lick and twist and slob down a vagina. Yeah, go buy you some peaches and practice. You know, watch you some videos. Yeah, seriously, and you need to start to adorn the vagina. You yeah. need to start to yeah. think good thoughts. Come on, vagina. So that when you, when you get an approach, you like I can't wait to yeah. devour that vagina. You yeah. it. You need to get a, You need to grow a love for it. So you can just come on, cause that will keep a woman. I'm telling Seriously. you, you can have a small, but if you can, boy, if you can, if you can make man, love to that vagina man, make, with, with your, your mouth, mouth, yeah, she will totally will forget that life. your penis was small. She will be coming back from all like I gotta have it. I need it. And they won't even want the penis. Yeah. And she'll probably just let you in for a free ride. Yeah. Because you did so damn good. I got to let you in. But don't, in don't come in there. Don't come in there being cocky. Yeah. That's the worst thing, y'all. Like, I have y'all had experiences to where dudes be like, have y'all had experiences to where um, dudes be like, oh, girl, I'm about to, oh, yeah. I'm about to lay it down. Yeah. I'm about to, I'm about to, you know, and you let you ain't ready for this. And then he be disappointed. Yeah. So where is that though? Yeah. Where is that though? And they be like, oh, 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 you know, you know, I was. It's just, been a while. No, it yeah. wasn't just nothing. You no, you ain't never had it. You thought yeah. you, you never had it. I, Don't do that because you gonna embarrass yourself every single time. But a both that's listening, I just want to let y'all know how important foreplay is. Very important. It's so important. It's so important when it comes to sex because one, you want to lubricate that woman up. You want yeah. to because hey, it's just like like a million, like a million you gotta warm it up. Yeah. Yeah. For it to be good. It's a car. Think about Start her up. Think about a peach cobbler. Yeah. Is a peach cobbler good cold? No. Mm-hmm. Or do you need to warm it up? You need to warm you that thing up. That's been frozen. And then put a little ice cream on it. Uh, it, put, hey. it ain't moist unless it's warmed up. Warmed yeah. Up. And if you want that, that thing to be gripping on that. Right. You better Hello. warm it. If you want it. If you want it. You want that ultimate grip. Yeah. If you want that smooth transaction. That smooth. Into so that smooth. Into that subway. Into that home run. You gonna have to do a little gonna, foreplay. A little. You can kiss, kiss on her neck. Kiss a little neck. You know. Massage just a shoulder. But. Got, you know, little, honestly. Little knee kiss. Knee kiss. kiss. Right. Y'all don't even know what a nice rub. Put a little rub down. A nice rub on the back, on the back, on the shoulder, uh-huh. on the arms, and it's just rub on my like, and rub on my booty. Rub on I'm my say, booty. I'm about to say, oh, oh, you rub on that's my booty. That's how I make Can you rub my booty? Let, let, me, ask, let me ask y'all something. Where, where's y'all spot? Do y'all have like a spot? Yes, my spine. Your spine? I cannot. Really? T- girl, if you t- I probably can have a whole orgasm if, if somebody kiss my spine from top. Yeah, me too. Oh, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. That shit. Mine's is my neck. Crazy. Yeah. My neck is my everything. My yeah. ear. Uh, like if you talking Jeez. in my ear, yeah. yeah. 
my but neck. That bag, that's about your back. And just like kissing me, Ooh. just down, like Ooh. slowly, just Ooh. itching. Ooh. What about okay? What about this one? Give me a shot. What about this one? What about what? What is something that a guy does, or that like your like if your boyfriend did it, or what's something that your husband do? Like they just be like, boy, I just, uh, uh, I just come and just sit right on you and just ride you until you go. To girl, sleep. his head. I feel like head. I feel like I get so off on just a nice. <laughs> oh my god. Tongue <laughs> but what about? Is there anything like? He just look at you, or he's oh yeah, yeah. And he just like something like that. Like, oh, like men cursing. Are we talking about during sex or before sex? I or? mean, like, before. Like, leading okay, up to before. it. Like, say y'all out the and about. The init- exactly. The initiation. Ooh. And you like, boy, I can't wait to take you. I got one. I got one. Okay, so, y'all don't know what my husband look like, but y'all know. Mm-hmm. I kind of, like, I have an Omar Epps thing. Mm. And he can do that fucking eyebrow. Oh, the little, uh, the little raise lower thing. Look at some. <laughs> raise them up, Sonara. Raise them hands up. What are you doing? What are you doing? When he do that eyebrow thing, I'm just like, okay, I know where we going. Okay. Yeah. Close the door, kids. And then, like, yeah. Mine is just, my. I think my thing is like just the talk dirty. Like, yeah, I love. Dirty talk yeah, talk I just like when we sex, out yeah, somewhere. Yeah. No, not, not even out, like, about to have sex, but like out somewhere. Uh-huh. And you just, y'all on a date or something. And he mm-hmm. just like, yeah, we need to go home. Like, or yeah. just some like. Oh. Yeah. Are you wearing that thing? I'm going to make you come. Like, oh. like it's the, it's yeah. the oh. dirty talk that gets oh, me. Because okay. I'm just kind of, I love forceful. Oh, yeah. take this. Take- <laughs> <laughs> Dirty on the elevator. Girl, Chloe got her arms. Girl, Chloe got her arms out spread wide. Touch <laughs> me, daddy. <laughs> what? Yo, no, for real. I like my boyfriend. I like when he. Okay, this one feels bad. But I like when he be, when he tells me to come here. But it's a way that he oh, says yeah. come here. Come and here. He be Chloe. like, he be like, oh. look. Be like, come here. Lauren just had a half at <laughs> orgasm. Half of you had it with the cross set up. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> he's like, come here. I just, oh my god, and that, I just, uh, yeah. He's he his accent just just drive me crazy. I understand. Um, I understand. Um, I understand. Was there a particular time where it stood out? What? Like a moment where he? It was something that's. I don't yeah. know about y'all, but I kind of take mental pictures it. of things. When what we first it? met, this everybody be like, "Lauren, you a pity for this." But y'all, when we first met, he walked me to the bathroom and waited for me to pee. And wipe and get out <laughs> and then walk me back. No man has ever done that before in the Aww. club. Ain't no nigga ever been like they be like so quiet. Have sex? They're like what? I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay. I wanted okay. to fuck him right there. I was like, you so respectful. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just, just like you me. know what I'm saying. Has any man ever did, like when you in the club? Then they be like, quiet. Oh, when I met my ex uh, boyfriend, we met at we met at a club, and uh, it wasn't that he walked me to the restroom, but. We, something about us just clicked. Like, he took off his jacket and, like, he let me wear it. He went to buy me drinks without even me asking. Oh, it was just, like, very it was just that. Like, when we, when I left, he gave me a hug and was like, here, take my number. It was just very, just like, hold on, we at a bar. Like, I'm expecting you to just kind of be like, ugh. Yeah, but yeah. he brought me so many drinks. We was dancing on each other. It just felt nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was more, yeah. yeah. That's that. I like that. Mm-hmm. I like that. Where, where my y'all? Yeah. Where my husband? He grab my face like like I, my hair is always like this, and he'll be like, "Come here, like grab my face like behind my ear, yeah, and be like, just hey, take. It's that for uh-huh. it's just." It seems like we all like have a common entity in any yeah. way, that forceful thing. Like, it's a Men, thing. We love when y'all we take like leave we when it's tough like that. Yeah, Trump we love don't that. Get, don't get too happy. Yeah, don't get it. Yeah. So, so now, let me ask you this. Does, does sex get mar- uh, old in a marriage? Nah. Mm. It doesn't. I think it's like, because at that point, I'm, you're comfortable and it's whatever goes. Like, we be trying some shit. Like, we be trying some dumb shit. And, um,. Because I don't know how to explain it. It's just it's just lit. I just feel like that's what makes sex in the marriage so fun because you have to find fun ways to like or different ways to make it. Like literally yeah. anywhere. 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 Especially anywhere. when kids we got kids too, so it's like sneaking what? around the house. No, we got your own house at sex. It's just low like oh, shit. key. We have quickies in our closet. I Are wouldn't you blame serious? you. That's so what? cool. Or in the kitchen. Yeah. Real quick. Like, and I feel like that would turn me all the way on. Because you literally have to sneak yeah. around your own house. Because the kids would be knocking at the door. Mommy, why is the door locked? I'd be like, get your ass. This out of and here. And is it bad that I want to be like because we're having sex? No. I just feel like adult time. Not yet. I would just tell them straight up. My like, kids are the too door, little. They'd be like, what's sex? 
when mommy and daddy when engage daughter, with each other and love on each other. I'm like, we're having a long time. Go away. <laughs> so that way, now that we understood, when you see that door closed, you don't come knocking. Well, yeah, because like, my kids like, I, for some odd reason, we develop an open door policy. So my kids just walk in, and we had to cut that out because when we noticed it, we're like, wait, they don't knock when they yeah. come in. <laughs> they just open it up. Hold on. Because we're never doing nothing. We usually chill and we always out in the open. But I just noticed like. They just walk in. I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. When you see the door closed, you not. You wait till I ask who is it. I don't care if I know who it is. <laughs> Say your it name. It ain't number two of y'all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it could be and I will let you know if you can come in or not. Because this is what they done picked up on. Our room door is locked, but you can get through our bathroom through our oh, door. They so they'll go around to the bathroom and come I through. I cannot. Door. Oh, see, no, 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 no. That's yeah. too many. It's too many access. Yeah. <laughs> too much. Yeah, it's too true. much. I be like, look. Because it had it, been a couple times where it was like, oh, no. Oh, no. would have been bad. That's so bad. I don't know. I don't know how. Oh, was. let me. What? Oral sex. Oh. Oh, yeah. We talk about. Man, that's a that's a that's a plus. That's like yeah. I'm talking about you, like women I mean, to men. Like, are you? Is it a yes? Is it oh, a for me giving. Oh, that yeah. It's a it's, it's, it's a yes. yes. I think I'm a giver. When I was yeah, yeah I'm a giver. I'm a giver. Too. That turn that's that's a turn on for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely to a turn please. on. I'm a pleaser. I think it's a control thing. Yeah, it's not even a control thing. Unfolds. It's just that I'm such a pleaser. Mm-hmm. So it's just like I know when it comes to sex. Like, I'm not saying you do all the work, but I'm saying majority of it is mm-hmm. you kind of like penetrating me. Yeah. So I'm going to make sure that, you, that I'm going to make you happy. Come on now. Because I want the heart. Baby, let me tell you something. Yeah. When them toes pop. I love when a man. Go behind that, 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 that head. old shit. Oh, I love when a man curse. Yeah, when he curses like, at that fuck, shit. that old shit. Yeah. Hello. I'm a chip. I feel Hello. like a chip. Hello. Hello. Hey, y'all. We have to, okay, we have to wrap this up. No, we no. do. Oh, this has been such a good, I know. such a good topic. Um, I really didn't expect, expect this topic to flow as Me well either. as it did. Oh, I didn't say my threesome story. Go. Oh, oh, we got time for that. Cause hold on, me. We talked about this before we got on air. Me, me and Law have never had a threesome. No, never. I personally do want to have one one day, but I doubt that I will. Lauren, I just I. I, I've went back and forth with the idea. I just don't feel like I would be comfortable with another woman having sex with my with my dude. Yeah, that's because I you feel be like uh, it, it turned me on. Well, for me, I know that I don't. I don't feel like I would be turned on because that's mine, and I'm very territorial with my nigga. So I feel like, bitch, no. If anything, you can be over there, like just playing with yourself, and that could turn him on. But you can't be like on top of him, and even him seeing another woman like that, like. So close, like yeah. I just kind of feel I'm just very. I don't know. I don't know if I will be too comfortable, but we have like entertained the idea before. I well, have. Like, I really picked the girl. Yeah, I picked the girl. So I was comfortable. Please tell us your story. Please. I mean, <laughs> hold on. First question before you, was this when y'all were married? Yeah. Or just, okay. Oh, yeah. it's yeah. even better. Go. Yeah, it's married. The it, mic is yours. When married life, married life is lit. Like it. Cause who's gonna tell me I can't? It's not cheating. We're doing this together. Mm. So I picked the girl. She's very. I mean, I liked her. I think what really turned me on about her is her hair color. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say her hair color, what color her hair was. But her hair color, and she had one nipple pierce. And I don't know why that was so attractive to me, but, like, we had sex with her a lot. Like, we were so nice to wow. her. Wow. We were so nice to her, like, after we were done. We, we took her out to eat one time, and then we just went our way. But it was lit, and I wasn't, it's crazy because I wasn't intimidated by her at all. Because one, she didn't suck dick, and my husband had he. That's just a must for him, and she she didn't stay wet. So I was like, oh okay, well we good. I know you're not so gonna. So if she wasn't even so if she up. did, would that have intimidated you or not uh, intimidated you? But would have felt some type a of way little up? bit because she was so, she's super pretty, and she got a really nice fat ass. Hmm. It was something like that I would want. If I think who I wanted to be, like who I saw myself or what I felt. Hmm. That I want it to be myself. Like, I want a big, fat, juicy booty. <laughs> and she had one. And it was it was lit. Like, we did a lot of things. I Even afterwards, we kind of, just me and her was kind of doing the thing. Mm. Wow. Yeah. It was lit. Uh, so, how wow. many times do you think that you and your husband had sex with her? Because I thought it was a one-time thing. Right. I didn't know y'all it was out. We were low-key kind of in a relationship because we had group message and everything. Like, wow. wow. Oh, it's like, <laughs> oh like, my yeah, god! But then it kind of got a 
got a little weird. I'll explain it off air why I got weird, but it kind of got a little weird. Then we kind of just. So um, how do you? So what was the relationship like between you and your husband during this during time? this time? I mean, it was cool. Yeah, you don't. You never suspected him of just like low key because I know he didn't his... want her like that. Dang, it was just something extra for us to do, and it was fun, and we had a really good time, and watching them. I mean, because it was a point in time where I kind of stopped and I just was like watching them have sex. Mm -hmm. And that kind of turned me on because I was like, yeah, that's my nigga. Like, he fucking the shit out of her. I, and you have a lot of confidence because bitch, really? I would have been like, I mean, because my you sister would have been like, really? Yeah, she would have had to go. Because it it's, wasn't ever a thing where it's like, I felt like he was paying more attention to her. I felt like she kind of got jealous because we were kind of doing our own thing and we were super intimate. Like, we kissing, we like face to face, we super close. And him and her, they were just kind of like. Did you let him kiss her? No, I mean they didn't kiss. That was just you have to set boundaries. Oh, of course. Yeah, That's so, what I'm trying to figure out what boundaries. So, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it wasn't like mm, they weren't close. Like it wasn't chest to chest. Them. It was like he was seeing it from the back, or he had like legs up in the air, or kind of to the side. Wow, I don't think I but could ever. I think see. She, she did kind of get jealous because she's like, I really want what y'all have. Y'all have a kid, and. You know, but we were like, but she ain't never tried to contact him on no side shit and vice versa. So it was cool. Girl, I, yeah, listening to you tell the story, I don't think I could now. Really? It would have, literally, it would, the only way I could have a threesome is with probably a, just a guy that I'm talking to. Oh. Like some homie that I'm talking to, we cool, we have a threesome. But it could not be no husband. But see, it would have to be a husband for me because I know you're my husband. You're my husband. You're not a nigga that could just leave any day. We're bounded by marriage. You're not going nowhere. So, girl, whatever. nah. Because the minute I see him enjoying sex with her, like yeah. even the slightest, just like moan from him, I'm like, you, you gotta, gotta go. go. And yeah, see, I can tell by go. the way they were doing it, like it wasn't us. So I knew it wasn't nothing to be worried about. Wow, that was yeah. a hell of a story. And here we are. Five that was the later. lead, bitch. Why you didn't leave with <laughs> that story? God yeah. Yeah. And I mean, it is cool because here we are, five years later, and we still married, and we still doing us. Oh wow. So married couples out there. Have fun. What's y'all, how y'all You make your own rules. Yeah, I would just love to hear how married couples feel about that. I right. want to know more married couples doing it because on the slick, they probably are. They are. They yeah. Are. It's, it's a thing. Yeah, I can imagine. It's a thing. Like, we got, we got amongst married couples and everybody is having threesomes. Wow. Like, you just, we just doing whatever. Wow. Because it's fun now. Like, we got, we secured the bag and now we kind of like, it's kind of like making it rain. Lo, it's a no for you? It's a no. It's a no, Lo? <laughs> it's a no. I know, Lo, and I'm I know sorry. it's a hell no for her. Mm -mm. Yeah. Not a, it's not, and not married either, because you, no, we need to be. I, this is, in my opinion, I'm, that's the last, that's not what I'm going to be focused on. You ain't about to come. I'm not about to, no, we need, to, uh, we can do a common sutra. We yeah. can get some common sutra cards. We can be up in here. I, I, can, drink, I can be any woman you want, what you want. Let me yeah. get some wigs, different outfits, something. I just don't. I just I just view things differently, and I just don't. Yeah, I'm territorial. Like I, said. I mean, I yeah. am too, but I mean, it wasn't something I was pressured into. It was kind of like, yeah, it was a little conversation. And it was like, okay, and then here here I am with the girl. Here she is. Hey, whatever works for you. Walking your life. Walking your life. Walking your truth, girl. Walking your life. Walking walking your life. She's, she's, she is good. Look at this. Dang. Me. She, to me. She was good to me. Like, Walk she she made life. me orgasm. So I was like, okay, bitch, let's go. Wow. I don't even know. God, I got that much confidence for just that. Okay. And that's a wrap. Woo. That and was great. That what a way to end this rest show. Rest Six. Um, I don't know if there's any way. Could we put a more of the stories in on this? Be safe. Well, you're good with that. You got uh, a kind of closing remark? A closing remark would be um, if you're a parent, Make sure you have an open door policy about sex when it comes to your kids, when it comes, especially when it comes to your girls and your boys, because you don't want to make it to where it's uh, something that is bad and something that they want to do. Make sure they know what's up. If you are in your 20s, girl, look. Live your life. Live your life. Walk in your life. Be healthy. Um, and just, if you are sexually active, make sure like you're also like trying to work on yourself. Yeah. 
like personal growth. You know, don't let your life be the focus. Don't let sex be your focus. Mm-hmm. Like, don't let that be your focus. Cause like, no, that ain't that ain't what's popping. And anything else, like if you got a past, girl, whatever you did it, whatever it is, what it is. But at the end of the day, just walking your life, walking your truth. Sex is natural. It's a thing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has what they like, what they don't like. But I mean, at the end of the day, we're all you know ourselves, and you know we're beautiful. So boom, you know, love yourself, love your body, and uh. Yeah, who you with? You know, do you? Yes, and that's it. That's it. This was what episode eight. 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 Oh my god! Almost episode ten. Ten's gonna be epic. We're gonna uh, think about it. We don't know what it is yet, but we're gonna make it epic. But this has been episode eight. Let's talk about sex. Um, talk really about hope y'all. Sex, baby. This is probably one of my favorite episodes. No yeah. lie. No, seriously. It was, uh, it was but um, you babes know where to hit us. What's and up? can y'all talk back? Y'all need some Yeah. Feedback. Can we get some yeah, feedback? Y'all, we, I promise y'all, we really want to talk to y'all. Like, we really do. Email no. us. We're waiting. <laughs> We're waiting to talk to y'all. We really want to engage. Like, Don't just everybody. like the post on Instagram. Like, DM right. us. We're always checking our Instagram. Yeah. Y'all know where to hit us. Brown Sugar Bay Pod. Yep. Um, the Gmail is brown sugar bay pod at gmail.com. Yep. We just kind of want to remain anonymous or stuff. But no, hit us up. Let us know. Also, I uh, just wanted to add that we are looking for sponsors for this episode. So if you are an entrepreneur or a small business owner, it doesn't matter if you're in Houston, Atlanta, Vegas, whatever city or state that you're in. If you're interested in being a sponsor of Brown Sugar Babe, go ahead and email us. Once again, that's brownsugarbabepod at gmail.com. And we will send you some information on how you could be a sponsor. But that's a wrap, babe. That's a wrap, you guys. We hope you guys have a great night, evening, morning, afternoon. We love y'all. Peace out. Bye.